Hey guys, today I'm doing a tag video and this is going to be called the starting over tag. Essentially what it is, is if you were to have your makeup stolen or all your makeup disappeared, what would be the first 10 items that you would purchase after all of it was gone? So what would you need to get right away first? I'm doing this video as a collab with Jen Chapman. If you haven't seen her before, she has a YouTube channel and she is so funny. She's adorable and she's bubbly and I just really enjoy watching her. She's also really informative. So if you haven't checked her out before, go check her out. I will leave a link to her video and her channel down in the down bar. I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. If this is something you're interested in doing, I tag you to do this if you make YouTube videos or even just leave it in the comments what you would do for the first 10 products that you would have to repurchase. I'm also going to tag a few specific people in the down bar because I'd love to see what you guys would have to purchase first, what would be your necessities that you would need to purchase before anything else that you feel like you have to have on a day-to-day -day basis. The way that I did this video, I kind of considered the categories that I usually do makeup in, so like what would I need for my eyes, what would I need for my cheeks and things like that, what I normally wear day-to-day, -day. and then I picked out the favorite things that I have. Some of these things I thought about right away and I knew that that is absolutely what I would pick first. Some of these things were a little bit more tricky because things like blush and lip gloss and lip colors and things like that, I tend to alternate quite a bit. So it was harder for me to pick specific ones that I would pick first, but I think I picked a really good bunch of products, so I'm going to go ahead and share this with you now. First thing right off the bat that I knew that I would have to repurchase because it's one of my all-time favorite makeup items is the Urban Decay Naked Palette. So I actually have all three naked palettes. I have a bunch of neutral shadow palettes, but this is the one that I probably reached for the most, and I think it was actually my first purchase for makeup palettes. If you aren't familiar with the naked palette, it's just a bunch of neutral shadows. So there are a few that I have used a ton of. I've used a ton of like Sin, Toasted, and Hustle. Those tend to be my most go-to. But this, the good thing about this palette is you can also be a lot more dramatic, so you can be kind of toned down every day, which is my typical look with those shadows that I just mentioned, but you can also be a lot more dramatic, like I use Sidecar and Naked and Buck for my friend's wedding, um, and you can definitely change up the way that you look. There's a nice silver over here. It is more expensive, but I absolutely love this palette, and it's definitely something that I reach for most of the time. The next thing that I knew that I would have to grab would be an eyebrow pencil, and the one that I use that I absolutely adore is the YBF Your Best Friend Automatic Eyebrow Pencil in Universal Taupe. This has been in my project pan, I had one that I just finished up, and it's just a fantastic pencil. It works for if you're a little bit lighter, you just use a lighter hand with it, or I can use it for my dark brows and it works just great. It's a very precise tip so you can easily get in there and shape your brows easily, and it also has a spoolie on one end. This is a great eyebrow pencil and it's fairly cheap and it lasted me for... A good six months just one pencil so it's definitely worth looking into and it is my favorite eyebrow pencil ever. The next thing that I would need is an eyeliner and I have a lot of the Urban Decay 24-7 glide on pencils now but honestly if I had all my makeup stolen and I had to repurchase an eyeliner I would go for the NYX eyeliner so I would probably go for a black one honestly if I were to go repurchase one because all my makeup disappeared but I don't have a black one currently. I would recommend these NYX slide on glide on pencils for sure. The one that I've used the most that I have in my collection is the one in Jewel but I would definitely go back and purchase a black or a brown one. The last thing for the eye category would be mascara and there's one mascara that I've tried in the last two years or so that I've been super into makeup that stood above the rest and that would be the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara. This is in waterproof, which makes my lashes fantastic. It makes them stay curled all day long. It's very black. It gives them length and volume, and it stays curled all day. It stays on. I don't notice any flaking, and it does a really nice job. I don't find it that I don't find that it's that difficult to get off either. So this is a pretty cheap mascara for being as good as it is. Most of the products that I would repurchase are actually face products. So the first thing that I would have in a face product would be a good foundation. And my absolute favorite foundation that I've tried is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. This particular foundation is really good for my oily skin. It stays on. It can sometimes fade off just a little bit, but for the most part it's a lot less work intensive than other foundations that I've tried, and it has really great coverage. Um, I don't find that this one sinks into my pores super bad, and it covers a lot of my acne scarring and things like that, so this is definitely my go-to favorite foundation that I would want to have. Because my skin is a little bit oilier, I would definitely need a powder for my face in case my skin started to look a little bit oilier. And I haven't found a powder that I'm absolutely in love with for all over my face, but the one that I would probably repurchase first would be the Tarte Smooth Operator Micronized Clay Finishing Powder. This one is the one that I'm currently using for under my eyes, and it's just like a little sample one that I got in a kit. But I would definitely repurchase the full one because the way it makes my under eyes look 
looks a lot nicer than if I didn't have powder. It makes them look a lot smoother. And I'm sure this would look great all over the face. I just use a different powder all over my face right now. But this is a really nice powder and I would definitely repurchase it. I also would need a concealer because I get a lot of blemishes and I have a lot of acne scarring on my face. And the one that I have been using most often recently and that I really like for full coverage is the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer. Mine is in light golden. This is a great concealer. It is on the expensive side, but a little goes a long way. I've had this for probably about a year now, and it's still going pretty strong, and I think this is the smaller size of the two. This is definitely a good full coverage concealer. I wouldn't necessarily try it under my eyes. I think it would probably be too thick under my eyes, but I must admit I've never tried it. But it does great for covering blemishes and kind of helping my skin look a little bit more flawless. And it really doesn't take a lot of this because it is so full coverage. Next up, I would definitely want a blush of some sort. And as I was thinking about which blush would be my favorite, what would be the best value, I decided that I would go with the Milani Baked Blushes. So I have three of them. If I only had to purchase one, I would probably go with Luminoso. And I thought I pulled it out, but apparently I didn't. Luminoso is one that has a great sheen to it. It's kind of a glowy blush, so it makes you look very vibrant and alive and it's just got a nice sheen to it so that's definitely the one that I would repurchase. It is a good price point because it's a drugstore blush so all of the line is great honestly I have about four of them but that is the one that I would purchase first above anything else. So my second to last product would be a highlighter and this is my favorite highlighter of all the ones that I own and it's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. This one is such a pretty, pretty highlighter. It's not too overwhelmingly shimmery or shiny but it just gives you a nice glow. And this is a nice one because you could use it as like an eyeshadow as well. I've done that before. And it's a, a pretty reasonable price point because this highlighter lasts forever. Um, but I absolutely love this highlighter. It's a great one and it's one that I usually go back to and use most frequently. The last product that I would want to repurchase would be a lip product. And actually this is one of the ones that took me the longest to try to figure out what I would repurchase. I have a lot of lipsticks that I like and... The first thought that I wanted to say was the Tarte Glamazon, I think, Glamazonian Lipstick and Inspired, but those are discontinued, so even if I wanted to, I couldn't technically repurchase it. I decided I would go with a lip product that I've been absolutely obsessed with lately, and I know that the range in general comes in a wide variety of colors, but I would go with the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm. These things I really like. They are very smooth on the lips. They have a wide variety of colors. This one, I think, is in Berry Twist. And it gives a really nice color. It feels very smooth on the lips and hydrating. It doesn't stay on as long as some other crayon type lip products do. But I also find with this one it wears off more evenly. So I don't end up with a lip product that leaves a weird stain effect behind. So those would be the 10 products that I would repurchase if I lost all my makeup, if it was stolen. And I think it's a good mix of stuff. I have some high end. Honestly, it probably leans more towards the high end for the most part. But I have high end and drugstore. And I think it's important to have a good mix of those just cost effectively if I lost all my makeup it would be a hard hit on my wallet probably if I had to repurchase all of these things at once. But it was kind of fun to have to pick out what things I think are my absolute favorites of the moment, what things I would go for before I would go for anything else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely go check out Jen's channel. I will leave that in the down bar if you haven't checked her out. She is so fun to watch. So check out her video if you guys want to. Do this video as well if you have a YouTube channel or leave in the down bar what 10 products you would repurchase first. What are your essential products that you would have to have right away? I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.